and action. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover how four important signals that is digital input, digital output, analog input and analog output. Those signals flow between SCADA or PLC to RIO panel and to VFD, in particularly VFD card. So here you can see this on the left hand side we have a SCADA. In the center, this is RIO panel part. Here, this is a VFD part and this on the left hand side, this is the VFD card. And uh, in the VFD, uh, this part, this section here you can see, these are two intermediate relays, okay. And 110 volt is within the VFD, okay. In VFD we have uh, 415 volt, so from that we take a tapping and convert it with the help of control transformer, we convert it to 110 volt for the internal use. So that will be used here. These are signal isolators, why they are used, there is a total separate video on that. Just to maintain or when there is a, some loss of signal, that is basically 4 to 20 milliamps, so signal isolators are used. And we will come back to this part in brief, in detail, sorry, even this part in detail. And let's start from the left hand side, that is SCADA. Briefly we will cover this, because SCADA, the control people or the operator sitting in the control room, they controls uh, drive or the system in the field, uh, example a motor running in the field manually, okay. So we'll start with all these parameters. On the top you can see three different circles. One is mentioning R, M and T. R uh, stands for ready condition that will in general that comes in a blue signal. Uh, M stands for modulating since uh, in this particular video we are uh, I have selected the VFD as EVB and this card stands for GCU that is if you go for EVB ACS 850 they use J series control unit card so that is the card and in that if you go for the drawing for running condition they basically say modulating so M and trip and this is indicated in the control room generally with a green signal and if the drive is in trip condition it will show red. Next if the operator is running that particular system manually so he will set a speed reference for example we are taking 75% and since the system is running uh, control room people will get two feedback so a speed feedback for example because of some uh, problem at the site if the motor is given at 75% but it is not running at 75% because of load or any x factor so 72% is coming why I have taken the difference I will let you know when we come to that part and current feedback at how much current the VFD is trying to run that motor. So it will also come back. These two between SCADA PLC or PLC, the communication between RIO panel that happens with OFC, sorry, FOC, fiber optic cable. So that is not concerned for this particular video. Here you can see in the RIO panel, you can see there are different cards. So this is digital output card, this is digital input card, analog output card and analog input card okay and what is digital output for RIO, RIO panel that becomes digital input for VFD just vice versa as you can see DO DI DI DO analog output it becomes analog input for the card and what becomes analog output for VFD card that becomes analog input for RIO panel and it will go likewise so the very first signal that is ready condition so from where it will get how it, the SCADA people will get this thing so that's how we will see all analog input, all those four signals. The first one is ready condition or all the three conditions. For that there are, in the VFD card there are three different relays. Since we didn't have the space, so we are considering just one case that is for the ready condition. If the drive is in the ready condition, there is an internal relay within the card. That is, that operates on 24 volt, here you can see, okay. And here since it becomes high, there is an internal you know, internal relay and there are NONC contact, okay? And this NONC contact have rating like 24 to 230 volt AC and here 110 volt like what we have mentioned earlier, this is a 110 volt that will go to that card and that will come back here. So this is an intermediate relay here you can see. We do not provide this directly to this uh, DI card. There is an intermediate relay and that will be available in the VFD. So, 110 volt that will go here since the internal relay 24 volt relay is high that NO becomes NC and it will come here and there here you can see there is another relay intermediate relay and we have neutral or 0 volt so this will become high and 110 volt from digital input card digital input 
because it has to get back, right? So 110 volt, this 110 volt is with the RU panel. So I mentioned R. That will go with the help of fuse. Fuse is provided as a protection, okay? So in case uh, some short circuit happens because of any fault or something. So the car will remain safe. That is the reason of providing the fuse in the RU panel. So 110 volt will go back. Once it is high, it will come back and it will so yeah. So it will get the signal that the drive is in ready, ready condition. Okay. Similarly, when the drive starts running, the signal will drop off and ready will running, that is modulating, that will pick up and it will show green signal. And similarly, if there is any fault, all these two goes and the third relay will high and it will show trip condition. So the first input, first part of the parameter is over. Next, uh, we see how the start and stop command is given from the control room. Okay. So for that, when the start command is given by the operator sitting in the control room, there is a small transistor in the RU panel. Okay. So this small transistor that is basically works on 5 volt, that's get high and because of that there is an internal relay kind of thing. Okay. The coil. There is a 24 volt coil that will actuate and 110 volt from the panel, and this is VFD panel, so 110 volt will come here, that relay will having NONC contact, right? So that will come till this part, once it is high, when the on command is given, the coil get energized, it becomes NC and it will go back here, okay? And again, since it is having 110, it is having 0 volt, that is neutral, this coil get activated and the 24 volt which is coming from the card, if you will see the card on the very top it is 24 volt, that 24 volt will come here, that will go through this relay NONC contact and it will come back. So it will get a start stop command. A start command obviously it will get high and similarly it will get high and 24 volt will come and it will start. Once it is drop off, it will get stop condition, normal stop, not the trip condition. Trip will happen the same way, okay? If there is a trip condition, some logic and it will drop the running condition. So we have covered these two part that is this DODI for this one and likewise. Now we will quickly cover these two section. See, when the operator runs the drive manually and there is another option with the help of PID control. So that is auto syllabus for this particular video. 75% and for 75% this will, it's like for the REO panel, it is giving the command. It is giving. It's a one way. Okay. So here in the REO panel, there is a 24 volt also option is there and 4 to 20 milliamps that will get generated according to this uh, reference what is given, sorry this one, 25 percent. So 4 is 0 percent and 100 is 25, 20 milliamps. So 75 is around 16 milliamps. So 16 milliamps will go through this fuse as a protection. There is a signal isolator if the distance between RIO panel and the VFD panel is quite far. So there can be a little bit, uh, you know, drop in the millivolt. So this signal isolator with the help of that we can fine tune it, okay? If it, in case of 16% it is coming only, sorry, 16 milliamps it is only coming 15 milliamps. So we can fine tune it to 16, mili 16 milliamps. And XAI, this is a slot. Here we will get analog input, 4 to 20 milliamps, likewise as per the percentage. And there are two different slots, AI1 or AI2. And accordingly, the drive will run at that particular reference or percentage. Okay, so that's how digital output from the RIO panel becomes digital input and the drive will run. And now since the drive is running, we have we have to the drive has to give feedback that will come back to this SCADA from VFT to RIO and RIO to SCADA. So first one is 72%. So similarly, like how it was generating, it will also generate, the card will also generate internally and there will be two different, uh, you know, uh, slots you can say. One is analog output one, that is for speed feedback, 72% and analog output two, that is for current feedback, IFB. Similarly, it will like, this one is flowing, this will also flow back, it will get here and from this card, it will come back to the scatter. So that's how all these four signal flows between RU panel, to card and to SCADA back and forth. Hope this video was useful for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe. And if you need any, you know, service related query or if you want any help to understand the drawing or understand more about VOT, you can directly contact me on my uh, mail ID, which is you can get in the link or 
uh, and our team will uh, will be happy to help you so thank you guys thank you for watching